Do you ever wake up in the morning not feeling well rested? Low back pain, a sore neck? Have you ever thought it could be the bed you're sleeping on? We sleep one third of our lives away. And some of my patients ask me, how do I buy a bed? What do I do? Today we're gonna to find out at Sleep Country. When most of us go to buy a bed, we assume that it's all about comfort for a good night's sleep. However, that's not always the case. You also need support, and sometimes that's a trade-off. So first we're going to illustrate a comfortable bed that's very soft. And as you can see, my hand sinks very deep, no different than your back would sink deep into the bed. And what that'll happen is the muscles will start to hang on over the night, just keep your back from falling too deep. So you wake up sometimes much stiffer than you would if you were on a firm bed. Now the extreme to sleeping on something too hard and supportive is the floor. You would build up pressure points on the back, the hip, and the shoulders, and you would also decrease the circulation to those areas, which would cause you to toss and turn. This is a bed that I would recommend because it encompasses both comfort and support. The more I push down, the more the bed actually pushes back up against my hand. And this way would eliminate any of those circulation problems, the pressure points, as well as giving you a comfortable sleep throughout the night. Every bed is an equation. There's support and there's comfort. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure it's right for both. So you want to make sure you have a good supportive bed, but you also want to make sure that it's contouring to your body and not causing issues because it's too hard. One thing that we find is that there's been a lot of studies done around people who aren't sleeping well or they have bad backs and things like that, and they list the reasons as to why they're not. And the mattress never seems to rate very high on that. You know, they always talk about stress or the room is too light or there's noise. And we think the mattress plays a very important role in that. Just as important as the bed you're sleeping on is the pillow you sleep on. Most of us sleep on a generic pillow that looks like this. However, if you're too big for your pillow or too small, you're not going to have the support for your spine throughout the night. If your pillow is too big, your neck's going to be like this. If it's too small, you're going to put pressure like this. When you sleep on your back, your head might be too propped up. This will put too much pressure on the front area of the joints here or on the back. Chiropractors like myself are able to sell you a pillow that looks like this. We measure, there's five different sizes. If you're on your back, you sleep on this. If you're on your side, you sleep like this. And why this is important is this width here is the width of your shoulder. So never will your neck be sunk in. Another really important feature is this pillow won't let you sleep on your stomach. Now, stomach sleeping is one of the worst habits us chiropractors try to stop our patients from doing. Firstly, when you're sleeping on your stomach, you can't look directly into the bed. So what happens is you turn your head to the side for about eight hours in the night. This area here, all the muscles are lengthened, and this area here are compressed. How should a customer prepare before they come to buy a bed with you? We'd like to tell our customers that they should wear comfortable clothing because they're going to be trying a lot of beds and making sure that they're comfortable in that. And also give themselves enough time because they're really buying and investing in a product that's going to last between 8 and 10 years. Most of us just fling ourselves into bed without giving a second thought. How your bed can have a huge impact on your health. Next time you're going to buy a bed, think of the tips we gave you today and go to a place with large selection like Sleep Country. I'm Dr. Scott Levine, and that's Toronto Living.